Hey, yeah, this is Retroburn with a basing Warhammer 40k miniatures video. So in this video, we are going to base this guy with several basing materials. So this is the same dude in my last video in which I cleaned mold lines from. So if you're interested in that, I put the link in the, on the description box and on the comment section. So yep, this is the same guy. So in this, the, our basing materials are going to be baking soda, pork board, and some coarse sand. So why baking soda? I learned of this tip from Tabletop Minions. I'm going to leave uh, the URL of that excellent tutorial video of his on the description box and in the comments section. So his rationale is because these are very tiny guys, if you put in regular sand, it's going to look like huge stones. So he surmised that he needed something that's way finer than your ordinary sand. So he came up with this baking soda idea. So now it's not it's not it's common knowledge already. So I, I've sifted through YouTube and apparently a lot of Warhammer 40k enthusiasts are using baking soda, but so far the oldest I've seen is from uh, Tabletop Minions. He posted two videos about that, one recently and another six years ago. But yeah, anyway, giving credit where it's due. I learned of this technique from that guy. No, he's not that guy. <laughs> he's actually a very pleasant dude. But what we're going to do is put a dollop of super glue on the base. But first off, we're going to attach this one. On the, we're going to attach this piece of cork on the mini. So maybe I don't know here. Oh, one thing to note is that yeah, this is a flat surface right here, and I actually saw this one off because this one is too thick for my mini. So what I did was I cut off a piece of it. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I cut off a piece with, with with this exacto knife right here. So now it has a more triangular look rather than um, both edges having flat surfaces. It's more natural looking. Anyway, so yeah, super glue. As Uncle Atom said that if you can use PVA, but I'm going to apply a drop of cam. Okay, there you go. Then put a drop. to apply it there we go hey okay. so now it looks like as if he's standing in front of this slate thing yeah it's going to look like slate because i'm going to paint this maybe i don't, I don't know shades of of gray white and yep black maybe known oil later so i'm going to show you that when i paint this tire avenger so now we're going to put in a dollop of super glue right here there you go i think i put in too much that's yeah it's not the end of the world then what he said was just spread it around using a toothpick. I actually cut this piece of wood. Here we go. You can always use PVA, but Adam said that there's a chance that in the future it's going to peel off, and yeah, that's going to make to make a mess out of your paint. So after this, we are going to. Uh, Put in the bigger pieces first. Put in random horse stand over this. This is going to look like pieces of, I mean, rocks rather than sand. This around. Maybe right there. There you go. Put in more. Yeah, I think that's enough. And then after this, we are just going to 
him in there. Just cover the entire base with baking soda. Oh wait, he did say that. <laughs> I made a mistake. He did say that if you put in a lot, it's going to do this ripple effect. So, yeah, don't do this. Because he said that if you put in a lot of baking soda, there's going to be a chemical reaction because the baking soda is going to act as a catalyst and it's going to make the super glue dry so much faster. And the end result would be if you do this instead of the correct way is to just sprinkle a little, not drown the entire base in baking soda. So what, that, what this is going to result in is that the baking soda will have a ripple effect that's not going to look natural. So yeah, I forgot about that bit. I don't know, maybe put in more super glue. Here. I'm actually scraping super glue off my table because huge drops have begun begun to what's the term accumulate on my table there you go then that's just a sprinkle do it the uncle atom way Don't do the whole drown it in baking soda bit. So we'll give it a few minutes and then after, once it has dried, we're going to brush this off and see what we have. If indeed it will cause that ripple effect he warned us about. So putting in more near his feet and put in more baking soda so it's going to look as if his you know it's a, as if his feet is mired in in sand oh so, yeah here it is so we are going to wait at this dry before we brush the extra baking soda off him we're going to cut the video here, cutting in 3, 2, 1. So I actually made a boo-boo and filmed the entire thing, me brushing off the baking soda. And I realized that I didn't turn on the cam, so anyway, <laughs> just so I can demonstrate to you what I did. I picked this, I mean I dipped it again in baking soda, and then I used this very cheapo brush that I bought from the local bookstore. And then I just simply brush it off like this. So just make sure that uh, your miniature is over your baking soda miniature so as not to make a mess out of things. Then just gently brush the excess baking soda away from the base. So as you can see, I'm very lucky that even though we made... Oh, sorry about that. We made a mistake immersing our entire base in the basic material uh, there's no the, the ripple effect that Adam warned us about didn't occur with this one so I don't know maybe I just got lucky or maybe it's because of the brand of super glue I'm using I'm using this one mighty bond by pioneer mighty bond extreme so these guys hold a quasi mon monopoly in my city there everywhere you you turn if you're looking for super glue always pioneers mighty bond in my city I don't know about yours but it's very popular popular here and then after brushing it off I just took it off cam and gave it several blue over it and here you go I'm very very pleased with the effect so this is ready for priming already there's just a spot I missed right there. It's going to look unnatural. 
But maybe I'll just put some flock there. Just to cover that up. So, yeah, you've just watched my basing Warhammer 40k miniature with different basing materials using baking soda, pork, and coarse sand. So, word of warning though, if you're using sand, because th this one is from a construction site, I just grabbed a handful. And what I did was I put it in a tray and poured alcohol over it until it was immersed in. The liquid, I let it stand for maybe an hour, 30 minutes, can't remember, just to sterilize, just to kill off whatever bacteria may be in the, the, the stuff. And after that, I drained the alcohol, and then what I did was I boiled a kettle full of water, I poured it over the, the sand, where's that tray? I poured it over here. So this is microwavable material, so boiling water won't, won't deform or burn a hole through the plastic. So make sure it's microwavable plastic. This is very cheap. You can buy it uh, anywhere kitchen supplies are being are being sold. And yeah, after that, I let it stand for another or several minutes until it's cooled down. And then after, I rinse it off. And then I made... Have you ever seen people panning for gold in rivers? I did stuff like that because there were other stuff that were, that, that were in sand. There was micro particles. I had to rinse that off. And then after that, I poured all the excess water and then poured another cup full of alcohol over it again, just to be on the safe side. So yeah, this is very <laughs> uh, pleasant smelling stuff. But yeah, just make sure that if you use sand that you're not ordering from hobby shops, make sure to sterilize it completely. You don't want bacteria in your miniatures. You know, if you playing Warhammer and then you're eating chips, that's just, just gross, man. So, yep, anyway, this has been Retroburn, and you've just seen my basing Warhammer 40k miniatures video with different basing materials. So, this may not be a basing tutorial guide, it's more like uh, join me as I test out other people's ideas. So, this one's from Tabletop Minions. I've placed, again, I've placed the link on the description box and in the comment section. So, in the next video, there's going to be two options. I think I'm going to magnetize one of my proxy. Elder Heavy Weapon Platform or I'm going to prime these dudes. So yeah, see you in the next vid. If you like this video and would like more content like this, please share, like, and or comment. That would help my channel greatly. So this has been Retroburn. Stay cool, stay frosty.